um, subscribe, like, follow every video Maranata makes uh, because we need to not only get her a decent <laughs> for her guests and even herself, we also need to get her um, a table and probably a nice chair. I can see in your smile. Hi guys, um, welcome back to the show today. In case you're wondering, I'm a YouTuber. My name is. Um, what's your name again? What's my name? Queen Maranata. <laughs> welcome to my channel today. If this is your first time tuning in, please don't make it your last by clicking on this subscription button. Uh, what's your name? So you follow notification like, also yes like and comment then, and share yes, um share. thank you today i have a wonderful guest in the house <laughs> for those of you who may not know her her name is leah <laughs> leah the oap <laughs> <laughs> the golden voice the can, voice of the radio you can say that again <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um tell us about you leah Hi guys. Uh, well, it's um, it's a honor to be here. Mm. Really, to be here with the only queen, the queen herself. <laughs> it's not easy for the queen to summon you, and you come. I came with this big fruit basket, but I'll show you guys later. So, but, yes, I did. Please tell them. If you look on her face, you know, <laughs> you know just to appease, just to appease the queen herself. Um, wow. I'm an OEP, a voiceover artist, mm. and um, what again? What do we do? I don't know. We do documentaries. Oh, and, you do that? Yes. Okay. Um, and then um, we do. Um, I would I say I do rather I do book reviews and all like you just voice it and so you know how you you they say know somebody everywhere so that you do nigeria does not feel you or show you shaggy <laughs> that's how I, I was in need of somebody who would um send my book to somebody who i taught who i taught this is how i'm saying that <laughs> was going to help us in marketing the book and yeah. getting the book across to jam mm -hmm. and i didn't even know that it was so Somebody that my other friend knew, you know, you guys are going to meet her on the podcast one of these days, and I met her. We spoke for a month or two, and I didn't even realize that the link I was looking for to speak to that particular person, she was that person. Mm -hmm. And it just made everything very easy when I connected with her. So again, no people, especially with everything that's happening in this country, mm -hmm. no Naira. You have to know, but some banks are able to get the money. <laughs> if I say no bankers, now it's still rubbish because some of them you don't even have get what you're looking for. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. But we are talking about Nigeria today. I've talked about that in my previous video. Go and watch it. Today, I have this beautiful young woman to tell us something that's been plaguing not just my mind. But a lot of millennials have these questions, and even Gen Zs, people who are really coming up now, mm -hmm. we are faced with the issue of our partners ghosting us all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. And the issue, this thing is sometimes we blame ourselves or we think, oh, what did I do wrong? Did I say something wrong and whatnot? But today I brought her so she can share her story with us, and then we we'll ask her <laughs> what she did. That made no man leave her on the altar. That's a joke. <laughs> he didn't get that far, but <laughs> okay. he didn't get that far, but she would tell us the story. So, uh, okay. Four stops. I'm going to start with saying this. Okay. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, wrong with you. Okay. And uh, you are perfect. You are beautiful, and um, you don't have to always you know cripple your standards you don't don't have to do away with your principles in order to accommodate, accommodate you. <clears throat> right i used to i used to be a person without school with that school of thoughts that okay. uh, always feel like ah, okay my mom brought me up better uh, if i go and cook if i go clean mm -hmm. if i act like this you know, Maybe he would like me material. better. He would like me better, yeah. love me better, he would treat me better, he would make he will satisfy that craving of feeling wanted right. inside of me. Right. And the more I kept doing all of it, the more 
they kept pushing me away. The more mm -hmm. I, I kept being hot, the more you know it. It just but what felt do, what frustrating. What do you think for that? Is it that you, when you show a man that you actually love them enough to want to do these things for them, they, they pull back instead? Okay, um, a man's a man's wiring mm -hmm. is to chase. Do you understand? Mm. So we women, we get so comfortable and, you know, so obsessed with this man that we tend to forget that we're meant to be chased. And then we start doing the chasing. Well, me, I like to chase. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wait, see, okay. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a flex romantic. Okay. I don't, I'm, 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 I'm this kind of a person that wants, that wants to get you things as a man. I want to take care of you. I want to pamper you. I love to see you like my baby. Mm, I want to I like care that. for you. I want to do in return. I'm not expecting you to do the exact same thing I do for you, but mm -hmm. just make me feel like a woman. Make me feel wanted, make me feel appreciated. That is all I ask of you. But you wouldn't blame them, dear men. It's not their wiring. That, 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 that they are men is very ambiguous. I feel like it's very ambiguous. <laughs> yes, because no matter how hard you would want to do all of these things, it's either they see you as too easy, too cheap, too free, mm -hmm. or, or better say, they'll be like, ah, this one, I get tired of her easily. Like, you know, they just, they lose that spark with you. No matter how a man okay. claims to be matured or understand you like, oh yes, they like women like that. There will come a time where they would still start withdrawing. Because there's that girl that there's that girl that is refusing to answer their calls all the time. There's that girl that is not talking to that. That, that brings me to answer. another school of yeah. thought where I'm always like, I was talking to a friend, another friend this morning, and I I made mention of the fact that, you know, I feel like we may call this fetish or okay. whatever, but I feel like men, some men, let me you know use all, some men love the chase, meaning. They would go after you, especially when you tell them you are in a relationship, mm -hmm. because they know it's a challenge mm -hmm, for them. Mm -hmm. So it is the pull and pull mm -hmm. the, that they and, that they love. Mm -hmm. The whole oh, she doesn't want me, she doesn't want me, she doesn't want me, and then you keep pushing yourself towards her until one day you kiss her and then she pushes you away, you kiss her another time and then she kisses you back and like yes, that's yeah, a win. Yes. And then she pushes you back and you're like so I feel like some of them live for that mm -hmm. joy. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why sometimes they are not committed to that person who is giving them everything that they want on the platter. Thank you. Now you understand what I'm so saying. So that, that's what happened with That is the wiring. Hmm. Be, it, be it a spiritual man, let's say a pastor, an mm -hmm. imam, mm -hmm. um, an African man, mm -hmm. uh, our Gen Z kind of man, yeah. and all of it. They still have that same mentality, mentality right? They want to chase. It's it's um, let me let me let me digress a little. Even biblically, it it is there. Men are meant to provide. They're meant to give. Mm -hmm. They're the ones to do the hustling, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Not you doing the hustling. But why why do we go online and these days we see a lot of them talking about oh I want peace. I want a woman who would like me for me. I want a woman. Do you feel like that's just a facade? Like it's just. It's not really there, but they are saying it because this is what everybody now wants. And they think, oh, I want peace. When in reality, they have a wife at home, for mm -hmm. instance, or a fiancé or a girlfriend who is giving them everything that they want. But they would rather go after that girl who is, you know, pushing away from them or pushing them away. Um, it's just so like... is it just a, everybody's doing this thing, let me also join in it. Uh, well, I don't think so. It's just like a man coming to me saying... Uh, he needs a submissive woman. It's the same thing. Now the question is, do you even know what submission is? Mm. Mm. Do you understand that word submission? Mm. Are you giving me what to submit to? Mm. A man that doesn't even have direction, that don't know what he wants, that is not emotionally matured. Mm. We have a lot of emotionally immature men roaming around i'm not talking of their age or status right now yeah that think they know what they want when it comes to relationship when it comes to marriage mm -hmm. but they honestly Actually don't, don't. they I don't that's why when it becomes so real for them they just disappear mm -hmm. 
Because one, they don't even have the words to tell you, I'm not capable of this. You're bringing out this incapability side of me and then uh, and I'm I'm realizing to, that yes. I don't really, I don't honestly have what it takes to keep you because you're too good for me. Mm. So all they do is mm. just, and then they tell you, it's not you, it's me. It's me. Mm. <laughs> That's their phrase, not mm. you. It's so not how, how far did you guys go? Because uh, I know you told me you guys were already set to be yes, married. Yes, yes. Okay, we, at first, we, we were dating. I think it's around 2019, 1819 okay. or so. Okay. We dated for, I think, four, four, six months. I can't really remember. It's but why, why was it that short? I mean, your dating circle, your yes. dating period. Yes, okay. What Did you know him prior or as a friend? No, 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 no. Okay, the crazy thing is we met We met on our way back to Abuja from Lagos. I missed mm. my flight. I, missed I have my a friend who <laughs> met somebody like that. We, we still call him Prince Charming. <laughs> <laughs> I missed my flight and then I was forced, I was forced to use um, the bus. Okay. I had to go to the GIG park and all. The first park we went to, the bus was filled, so I was asked to use the second one, and then they had to convey us to the other park. Mm. And that was where I met him. And then I, I think with that anger, I wasn't smiling with anybody there mm -hmm. and all. And he said he was just looking at me like, why would they find gay like this? Be funny. It's Be always your line. <laughs> That's how you know them. It's always your line. They're always looking for ladies you know, that are frowning so and he, ladies that are not. So he tried. He um. He tried talking to me and in my head I was like, what's wrong with this one? Like, what make you think that I would answer you? Like, I just want to get to where I'm going to yeah. and don't even disturb me. And so we got to Lokoja and we had to stop for a break and mm -hmm. whatever, take, get refreshment whatever, and refreshment whatnot, yeah. and all. And then I, I saw this book stand, you know me and books. And then instead of going to get food, I started to check out the them books. Mm -hmm. And then when I turned, I saw bros. Also doing the same thing. I was like, oh, not bad. You, so you have something in common. Height, he has a body. You know, I like them all broad, chested, dark in complexion and all of it. And I was like, and then he loves books. <laughs> what else? I'm like, for, right? I need to engage him in the conversation. I need to check here. I want to see what is inside. Yeah. Because the kind of books he was picking, I was like, nah. That and is self-help books. Because I feel like most guys would rather go for self-help books no, than not. fiction books. Okay, there were there were more of um, a bit of friction, fiction and um, non-fiction, non mm -hmm. and then a bit of spiritual. You know me now. I don't joke my spiritual life. So <laughs> I, I think I think I see the problem here. <laughs> Leah is always oh god, I don't know the right word to use, but she's always I don't want to use the word preaching or talking about God. If you're familiar with her, you have a personal phone number, you would know that. More than 80% of what she posts are godly too, right? <laughs> and it, it begs the question, why do very religious women fall victims to fake religious men? That's the way I would put it. Because sometimes, you, these persons come and show you that they know God, and they come to you like, oh, I am so and so, I pray every day, I wake up in the night, I fast. But you, that is the true woman of God, I, how do you even not realize this? I've seen visions. Yeah, so like, how, how, do you, yes, how, like, how do they not see Like, it? there's nothing you can tell me, except God comes himself to tell me what he has showed me. It's not true. My dad and I have fallen a victim. I felt, I felt victim of this um, two years ago when I was still in Vegas. Mm. Okay, um, he is not a fake pastor. Let I'm not, I didn't say fake pastor. No. <laughs> I said fake <laughs> man. Oh He's not a fake, fake. man. <laughs> you just... So okay. God, when God, God went back to reveal to him that no, he had been on my way. He's not. Okay. Is that how it happens? No, no. Okay, let me explain this, right? Uh -huh. um, do you know, sometimes, it's not... A, a, okay, I'm looking for the right words on how to put it. I don't want to miss words on this. Okay. Um, not everyone is good in every aspect, right? You mm -hmm. might be very good and sound when it comes to the spirituals, okay. but when it comes to the non-spirituals, you'll be struggling, right? Um, there was a time that I posted, I saw a video on TikTok, okay. and I was like, I can so relate. When I went to the comment section, I was just laughing throughout. This guy said something. He said, he asked, he was like, how, how, how does, um, 
spiritual persons dates like how is their dating life like yeah like, because the truth yeah. is i i i remember talking to a friend mm -hmm. a, a very close friend of mine mm -hmm. i told him something he was talking to me about love relationship marriage mm -hmm. you know now when you get to some certain age yeah. and all eyes on you like how far you've not brought anyone no mm -hmm. no boyfriend mm -hmm. not a of husband mm -hmm. and settling mm -hmm. down and then i looked at him i was like i don't need a man that I will start explaining that God speaks to me. I hear the voice of God. I don't need a man that I have to sit and explain to that this plan, this thing you're, you're about to embark on, it's not going to work. And not see my... Uh, what was this word? Bad belly. <laughs> like, uh, all I think of are negative things. I don't want to start um, explaining myself to a man that I see visions. I don't have to sleep and dream dreams. Mm. Like... I have a ministry. He has to understand that he can't have me and me to myself. I am also for, for other people. Do you understand? That I have to wake up every night and talk to God and pray and intercede. Okay, okay I, fine. You get that? Fine. I it's get not that. easy most but times now, to do all of it. In this, your particular relationship, what thing you do? And my question to you be that because if everything you're saying still points to the fact that he's still upright, right? How did he get so sour? From the point of, oh, first of all, I'm still, I don't know how I feel about your six months of dating before jumping into saying, oh, well, I want to get married. Okay. I don't know how I feel about okay. that. No, no, this because six months, this six months, right, mm -hmm. was before we broke up. Okay. Why, I, you know, I, earlier I said it's, I discovered it was a pattern, right? I remember you were asking me off. The that camera. was off. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And I said, it, I noticed it was a pattern that I can't deal with, right? That six months we dated, 2018 slash 2019 okay. i um i i i didn't see it as a pattern then i was so carried away with love what's the pattern and the, the pattern the pattern is him waking up and just leaving and after some weeks or months mm -hmm. he then calls back and be like uh god actually asked me to leave you and i'm a distraction to you and then uh you know it was that I hope I hope you that understand I that I know as as time goes on you're going to understand and blah 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 and I'm like tell that God <laughs> that God <laughs> to talk to me and tell me because the God you're talking it's about the same way is I not a confused come God. Come that say, come to me and say, oh, I dreamt that this man is supposed to be for me, and I'm like, wait, the man came to tell you or you by yourself, Seth, the dreamer. You, yes. Do you understand? There's a difference. And now I'm like, okay, if God told you to leave Leah, that she's not the right woman for you, what stops him from communicating with you? Chick it. So that I'm saying as now, now the crazy my friend, friend, friend will tell us what she do. No, I don't do <laughs> anything. Because they find the man. No, no, say, it's not like I'm defending the man did him. Before not he did what, what he did. Before he did what he did, right? I got visions of him living. I saw another woman and I saw other stuff that I can't say. So now you're saying he's an upright man. No, no, I'm not saying he's an upright man. No, 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 you said that too. No, no, you are no, 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 so now you're saying he's a cheat. No, wait. Let's not, let's wait, not, let's so not there confuse. Was another woman let's not confuse. No, hey, no, no, don't, wait. don't distract no, us. No, wait. <laughs> There was another no, woman no, in the mix. Yes Mara. or no? No, Mara, wait. There yes. was another. Yes. So he left you for another woman. Yes. Okay, this is it. You know, uh, along why, the line. Why, why did he leave you for another woman? Wait, along the line. Is that something you did? Why were we talking? I am being a little auntie. Oh my God. And I'm enjoying wait, it so much. Wait, Mara. Okay, Mara, hold on. But, you know, you know, at the course of this conversation, you digressed a little. You, mm -hmm. you started talking about men of God that. Um, Come in the name of God and mm, all of that. They're very foolish. They are not real. They do so, so that's why I said I've, I've been a victim before. So this I've been a victim before is actually different from the relationship we we're talking okay, about. Please take over. I have I have seen Shege promise and, and, and the relationship, relationship promise. Let's go back to that man okay. that left you. The man that left me. So yeah. um that's what happened. I remember my um uh, my friend. He's a pa he, He's a pastor. He's still a pastor. Um, pastor Kachia Akoma, I will never forget him. He's he's not just a pastor, he's an elder brother to me. Okay. And I remember that day, I, I lost my mind, I was crying. All I was shouting was like, ask him to tell that God to come and talk to me and tell me that he is a distraction to me and my ministry. Mm. 
-hmm. and he'd be like, calm down, we're going to speak to him. I called, I texted, I used he different never numbers. He he never did. So it was on it was when um my my uh, Pastor Kachi now called him and then was like um, okay, this is Pastor Kachia Kumano because of the respect he had and regard. So he had to relate everything. And then he called me and he said, You're going to let him go. You're going to forget about everything. You're going to heal. You're going to. And then, uh, with the help of his wife. Pastor Kachi is a man after my own. <laughs> you know, people are always saying that I'm very was... harsh when I tell people to immediately forget about it and move on. You can't argue with a person who has told you blatantly that. I don't want you anymore. There is nothing you would do to get back this person. But why would he? My anger is why? Why would he use God? God. I also have that question. Do you understand? Why also, would he? I have use, that question you know, as well. Long story cut short. I, I I can't explain how I managed to just get to the right. whole thing. And three three four years later, last year. Last year, maybe four years. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah last year. So we got back last year again. So okay now this is <laughs> okay when he got back he I'm trying to no, hold before my mouth. then no in between in the this. years of separation mm -hmm. right we were just we, we later became friends like after two years we later started how do you become friends with somebody who you told you at a month to your wedding or something how 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 do you do that well I don't know you just okay I'm just I'm just you were not you, you were not hot enough no no it's not well, that it, I wasn't hot enough but the fact that we can't be in a relationship doesn't mean that we're sworn enemies people just, say that people it say that in some situations work. and i agree I, I still talk to my exes well one of my ex right because <laughs> i'm a child of god i don't displace with people mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but um i don't get where you get to a point as bad as that and um, i mean i don't think he ever came back to explain to you what really happened did he he, uh, yes, he did, but he wasn't making sense. Exactly my point. He, he was still exactly my he point. Was still bent on the whole man of God aside, because a man of God. He's told actually me not a man of God. A man of God actually told me. I said I made a statement yesterday, um, and I, and I said I really don't know. I am not a man of God. I love God. I pray and I try to do what is right. But you know, people who are actually preachers of God's word. Sometimes I look at them and I wonder how some of them can say I don't want to have sex for the rest of my life and they are able to stand by it you know and I was having this conversation with you know one man of God yesterday and he said to me I am a man first before I am a man of God mm -hmm. so whatever temptation you feel like you're going through mm -hmm. I also go through true, that true. and sometimes it's even more than so I'm not even going to go to the man of God mm -hmm. issue now mm -hmm. But my point is, men sometimes leave you because if they think they've found something better. Yeah. Now, when they go to that something better and, and it doesn't realize. pan out, yes, exactly what they thought it was. Because from afar, it seems like gold. It seems like, oh, this thing is too mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I wish I can get this thing. Mm -hmm. Now, you now leave the one person that was giving you everything, mm -hmm. just like you explained earlier. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, um, I feel like this is now my new type. This is, and then you go. When I was in that work, I was in come and say I want to do friendship. I just feel like I don't have the patience to allow those kind of persons back into my life. Because I know that you didn't respect me enough to tell me to my face that, yo, I found somebody else. And I'm not as attracted or interested in you. And I, do, 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 okay. If you have an adult conversation with me, I'll regard you like an adult. But when you know moment you ghost, and then you go for four years, and then you come three years. I want to understand what that relationship was like when okay, you got back. Okay, okay. Um, the thing is, we were not friends, friends. But even before we se separated, right, mm -hmm. we were more of friends than lovers. Do you understand? Uh, okay. So, um, I'm not, no, before you say I'm trying to side him and I'm, What's my business? <laughs> Are you a man? Are you a man? We, we were more <laughs> friends than lovers, really. So, um, after we separated, I didn't... Aside from that, yes, I felt I felt the pain of losing a lover, but yeah. I felt more pain of losing a friend. Mm. Do you get? Mm. You know, the, the people in this life, I used to say you just get only one person in this lifetime that really understands you for you, that you can really breathe 
when you read them. You don't have to fake it. You mm -hmm. don't have to be who you're not. And aside that, they, they, they keep pushing you to your full, fullest so potential sorry, sorry. and all of it. And you're like, this person knows me even more than I know myself. Do you understand me? I think I see why you're friends. Oh, okay. yeah. So it was more of the friendship that hurt, that hurt the most. And and then um, I think a year after the whole no talking thing, mm -hmm. I'm angry with you, you mm -hmm. broke up, you do this, this, that. Mm -hmm. So we just started doing the hey, hi on social media. Mm -hmm. You're good, you're okay, how's work, how's fine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine, okay, bye. Then after like a month or two again, hello, what's up, you good, yeah. And all of it all comment on each other's status and all and then last year when he turned um 40 and then mm -hmm. he posted on, on his whatsapp status and i was like you're celebrating 40 when you're supposed to bring wife and children so i'll become an auntie he said you know you're not married I'm, not, I'm trying to remember how he put it <laughs> and like he was like more like you know green marry now mm. you know green marry me something okay. like that and and then as like I gave him this emoji of in your dreams, really? <laughs> like <laughs> not really, more like in your in your wildest dreams. dreams. Like it can't happen. I won't do that mistake again. <laughs> you you know, and, and then after a month or two, I think it was July. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was at work, and then he, he I was bored. I left office early. So this was last year. This was last year. Mm -hmm. I left office early, and then I was so bored. And, I was thinking of where should I go hang out? I just need to sit down. I don't want to go home. If I go back home, what would I be doing? You know? mm -hmm. And then, you know how the death of girls is true? I don't understand. Like, yeah, to... And he writes, <laughs> he just sends, <laughs> he just sends them songs of Pharaoh to just keep bombarding you with calls and text messages. And then, and then I'm like, and then my boss showed up. And then he said, Hi, what's up? Where are you? Is it okay we hang out? We need to talk. I would really like us to talk. And I was like, you know what? I have all the time in the, the world. world. It's yeah. high time we sit down and I address this thing. I, I didn't know that. I, they dug a hole for me and I was going to fall inside. So, you know, and then I went. I went to meet him over the studio. Uh, by the way, he's he's a music producer. I used I to, I used to call him is. a sound god. He is good. I don't care what he, he is. is right. good. He is. <laughs> what happened last year? Okay, so... um. You know, we got, we, the long story cut short, we started dating again. And this time around, he came with, mm -hmm. look, we've known ourselves to, uh, for us to start saying we want to do the talking stage or the dating stage. So that was like, was like six months now. Marriage. Can we do, can we do marriage? Can we do family? Can we have another can conversation do, than this? Can we do kids? Mm -hmm. You know, can we mm -hmm. do our home, our thing? Mm. Do you understand? And mm. can we also do dreams and work together to fulfill them and all? So all the plans started falling in place and, you know, <clears throat> we're all okay. He was doing his usual travels for his jobs and then he would come back and all. And then all of a sudden, he stopped calling, stopped texting. And then I was like, what is happening? My mind did not go to that. Just that. Because before then, it was all rosy, it was all fine. Although we've been having our little disagreements and all of this. Yes. And then, and then this time around, he just, and I was like, for three days, I'll call you, not with, I text you, not respond. Mm -hmm. You'd not call, you'd not reply. It reminded me of the story we talked about in the podcast, and that one was for seven days. And on the seventh day, Niga had the effort to to send her money. Just send her money and the money was supposed to do what? Wipe away the Now he also, has, he, also has, he also has he also has that thing. I used you to know. fight him. Like if he does something wrong, so he just throws money at you, like that's supposed to solve the problem. How big you supposed to a calm bigger down. problem a conversation like this, a bigger a much bigger problem because this one the everyone already did an um, introduction and everything that nigga was just being a madass. And I still I still don't this is like a very longer conversation that i wouldn't even want us to brush, brush into right now mm -hmm. but the idea that money is supposed to fix lack of communication from men sometimes i don't get it's it. bizarre i i don't um there's something i do say yeah in everything you do when it comes to relationship friendship <coughs> even in family with 
the with communication there would be so much peace and understanding right you wouldn't have to sit and start assuming stuff that, that are not there imagining things that right. Are not there, right right you tend to be knowledgeable of who you're dealing with to get mm -hmm. so but when there's no then there's no constant I mean, uh, what's this called? Persistent and consistent communication. Because, mm -hmm. to be honest, not everyone that is good with this communication thing, right? But if you're not willing, mm -hmm. yes, not everyone. If you're okay now with mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. with my ex, mm -hmm. I had to teach him. Oh, that is not your ex. <laughs> you guys, I'm trying so hard to be nice because. You know, okay, no. so you know, you know, so we, I'm trying not to be the no, judge. No. <laughs> you know, you know, you for yourself. No, somebody I left you four years ago, came back again. You went and did romance and romance. After two months, they left you again. I'm trying so hard to be nice to her because she made me breakfast. <laughs> 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 But okay. for real, I for mean, real, why do we I mean, do this to ourselves? I, I, I had to. I, I went, when we draw the line, I went, I went into oh. depression last day. It was terrible. Yeah, yeah. and then she kept calling for help a lot like, of times. Oh, I need terrible. a therapist. I need a therapist. We got to get blood man. It was terrible. Last year was 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 it for me i told myself like i it's not like i've, been, I've not been having suitors i told you i've been having yeah, suitors i've been yeah. having um people the men asking me out and you know mm -hmm. even those that i feel they're nice they're not my ex but the thing is i am blank inside like i'm like <laughs> i get that so, I get <laughs> you can't that, guess what you're looking for, for yeah so that this so, doesn't become really lengthy all in all you've heard her you've heard her story uh, we've heard everything, all the soft to soft to things we dropped, all the interesting advices she had dropped in between. Like, um, don't go and date fake men of God. Very, very powerful. Miranda, for the records, Miranda, I said, this is your own one set. Okay, um, the last one set. I think I have a final one set. Yeah. So, uh, because we're trying to call the short. So, yeah. Uh, my. My one cent I'm going to leave you guys with mm -hmm. is that we women, we've had the success right from day one. You know right? when something is not working out right? You know, you know, you know if this isn't going to work or lead anywhere. And when we now go back to the spiritual, mm -hmm. if I tell you I didn't know, that it was gonna happen again. That it was gonna happen again. That it wasn't gonna lead no matter what. Mm -hmm. I, I will tell you, I'm a liar. All right. I have seen it. I have. My eyes have been opened to see and all. Right. It wasn't like I was judging him from the past, right. but I was seeing everything. But I was just carried away with. I don't want to be lonely. Mm -hmm. I mean. That's another I mean, I'm glad I'm glad that he's back into my life. It wasn't like I stopped loving him or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Like finally he has the senses to get that and we can really make something out of this. Yeah. You know, I was actually the one with the whole idea and everything. Yeah. And and then you know, after the whole him disappearing on me again. Yeah. As I'm talking to you too today, he has not called me to tell me why he disappeared. Well, and, he that, and that's why every time she, she brings up this conversation, I always ask her, Yeah, you did something. <laughs> well, obviously, it's a joke. It's a joke because so there is not nothing you would do to deserve that a man is with you and then he leaves you without any explanation. Nothing. Whatsoever. There nothing. Is nothing. And then, there and, is nothing. And then, you know, I used and to And even think, if she was toxic to the point that she was slapping him every day, you would still look me in the eye and tell me, Oh, babe, I'm leaving you because you did this thing to me, which wasn't the case. Okay. Right? I like the last one. Like, I, said, like, I said, even if, I said, even if, even if, even if, meaning you didn't do that, yeah, you know. So yeah. again, you I guys, did. I did. I did. but you men, if you watch this and you know the reason why communication is hard for you, because I don't understand it. If you can tell your guys that, well, they don't, they don't do that. If your guy begs them and your baby, they would complain you for house. Mm -hmm. Why do you guys lack communication skills? Mm -hmm. If you love a person to the point of wanting to settle down with them, you should be bold enough to tell them, oh babe, I don't like the certain things. Mm -hmm. And if you want to leave, you get to that point where you're like, She you seems like deal. two adults. Yes, so I about it. Adults, Look, I'm no longer instance. feeling this. Yes. yes, I don't see this going anywhere, anywhere anymore. Nobody will beat you. Do you understand? Nobody will beat you. Just the person who say, Babe, I don't do it again. Nobody will beat you, but she said it's hide and six like And then children. you just disappear on the person. And okay, if, if I've heard of 
I've heard of ladies who have committed suicide. I've heard of ladies who have yeah. killed themselves in one way or the other. Or yeah, my other gotten into, here, yeah. Gotten into something, something uh, uh, very, very not cool. I don't, I'm looking for the right word to use for it. All in the name of a man. A man just chickened out on her. A man just In left. the next a man episode, just... we are going to talk about that thing. We need Why to... we get to the point where men break up with us or leave us and then we get to the point of being suicidal. I keep saying it, people look at me weirdly. But I say that not everybody will marry for this life. Your de your destiny if it be don't don't be say till you go die, you know go see your husband marry. So why can't you love yourself? More no, today. Look at everybody. When you come back, uh, for the records, yes. for the records, she doesn't have a heart. They used to say I have um, um what's it called? My, that I don't have a heart. I have this eyes that even mind you, have a romance writer, even, 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 romance writer. Even, the, even the hottest whatever fire or whatever avocado cannot melt. But she, she doesn't. At least I have something that is replaced with ice. Wow. But Maranata has nothing. Wow, I have a very big heart. I'm serious. It's just, I say the truth sometimes in a very, I don't know. But you guys, please, thank you for watching this video. Thank, thank you for you. loving us and seeing our recent face. I hope that you tune in next week. Maybe I'll drag her here again for us to talk about loneliness, you know, as a subject. But uh, I, I th Maybe we'll just talk about money next time, you know. You get money? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>